Hi, my name's Mage. We're gonna do some stuff in Beatbox today. So we've got my Beatbox right here. Here's how to do some really basic things in here. So let's open a new one. So this is what we're going to do. This is a channel, obviously. Um, this channel, you can put anything in here. Easy, easy, easy. And here are some really cool tricks. You got all of these instruments, and they are all fantastic instruments. You just gotta know when to use them. So let's go with one of my favorites, being the clavinet. <laughs> it's a funny little sound thing, right? So let's say you've got a nice long note here. You pull if you pull it over. You see this? Okay. So if you listen to this, right? It starts the note again. If you don't want that to happen, drag on the note and pull to the left. This little arrow will pop up and it will make it so the note lasts for longer. That's a pretty cool thing. Now let's say we want to do the same thing again, but instead we want this note to decrescendo. Decrescendo means to uh, gradually decrease in volume. So what you're going to do is drag, is click above this line and drag downwards. And this will create a crescendo. Or you can do it the other way around, pull it back up from the other side, hold down to make it a crescendo, which is expanding in volume, increasing. You can do this even in the middle. So you can create a uh, middle, whatever this is called, and it'll make that sound. So that's pretty cool. Now let's say we have a little note here. We want to bring this note down. So it sounds like it is gradually decreasing in the notes. So what you're going to do is grab the note here and pull it down. It's gonna do this weird thing. So if you want it to go upwards, go to the left. If you want it to go go uh, downwards, to the right. It's a little weird and it's a little fidgety, but if you also drag where this is, you can extend the rate at which the note decreases. Pretty cool. And you can also do this for smaller notes as well. It's a little harder, but it, it's it's possible you can also when you create a note like this usually it allows you to create the next note with the same one that you made before see pretty cool and all of these presets also work on the drums say so you want this drum to be a big whap Wet flight flat note. Well, I mean, it doesn't really work like that for that. Let's go with chip noise. You can really hear that, can't you? Or you can do it the other way around, too. Make it so it's gradually increasing. Oh, upwards. Kind of sounds like a wave, doesn't it? Also, do the dragging. All of these cool little things. And as well as the notes as well. The little arrow. Hope this helps.